Then he says something interesting to the children of Yaqub, the children of Jacob, may peace be upon him, commonly known as the children of Israel. Allah says, Ya Bani Israel, adhkuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum. O oh, children of Yaqub, may peace be upon him. May Allah bless them. O oh, children of Jacob, remember, remember the gift of Allah upon you. I want to stop there for a moment. Let us draw that verse to ourselves. Has Allah not favored us, my brothers and sisters? Do we not have Iman? Do we not have so much goodness? Are we not sitting and breathing, watching and listening? Are we not in the house of Allah? Can we not hear the words that are being recited, that of Allah? Are these not the blessings of Allah? Has Allah not given us countless blessings? So remember the gift of Allah upon you. People sometimes read this verse and they say, those children of Israel have forgotten the gift of Allah upon them. So Allah is reminding them in the Quran, not realizing that, yes, that may be a lesson, but the greater lesson is for us. What's the point of pointing fingers at others when we ourselves have forgotten the gifts of Allah upon us? Allah gave us so many gifts. Our parents, if they're alive, they're a gift, a means of entering paradise, a means of peace and comfort. If we have children, they are a gift. If you have a spouse, your spouse is a gift. Be faithful, be dedicated today. Marriages are breaking because the peace is snatched away by promiscuity, by becoming infidelous. May Allah protect us by adultery, by flirting. A small, simple flirt, your peace is gone. Why? You cannot sleep. Your phone needs to be with you. It must be off. You've got two SIM cards. You've got four phones. Subhanallah. Allah protect us. I asked one brother, brother, why do you have four phones? He says, well, Allah allows me four wives. I've only got one. At least I can have four phones. <laughs> what a foolish answer. My brother, that is foolish. Four phones, you are going to really snatch away your peace. You don't know how to use technology. Why are you flirting? Do you know when you commit a sin, it is actually like a debt that you've put forth. You owe it now. It's going to be taken away from you at some point. So don't think you can achieve peace through sin. This is Allah telling us, seek Allah's forgiveness and he will show you the path. You want peace? Lead a simple life. You will never have everything in your life as you want it. You cannot have every woman or every woman cannot have every man in this world. No, you need to be happy with what you have. Wait for the akhirah. The perfection will come then. Subhanallah. At the moment, hold on, be patient. Struggle and strive. Everyone is struggling and striving in their own way. You might be comparing your marriage to another family whose marriage is on harder rock than yours. If I can word it that way. Allahu Akbar. And they might be looking at you and thinking, wow, look at how blessed you are. This is all the gift of Allah. We cannot read what is going on in the lives of others. Appreciate your own life and understand it. Close your focus and you will achieve lots of peace, inner and outer. This is Ramadan. I call on all those who are engaged in extramarital affairs or in any form of illicit, immoral behavior. Quit it today for the sake of Allah. Cut it out. It will come up with a lot of peace by cutting it out. A lot of peace. You will achieve the comfort. Your home will be blossoming once again. You will find the spirituality, what we term ruhaniya will return into your home. Why? Because you have now cut your focus to what is halal for you. You have cut your focus to that which will achieve the pleasure of Allah. This is how to achieve the peace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.